Hey, hello, hey, hey, everybody. Hey, so I'm really, really excited because old Chucky Bear gets to announce that it, the, even though it's in, okay, it's in beta membership, sort of like testing rollout, um, several more features to come, but we are launching our membership features. Ah, da, 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 Chucky Bear. Okay, so we're really excited because it's just kind of like, um, you know, the whole 66 Ancient site is free, uh, no ads, no cost. Um, we do this out of love, um, but the community, um, it's a couple of bucks a month, but there's like a whole lot of cool features, or at least we think so. And so I'm just going to make a little tour of what is going on right now. We just made a hypothetical account for my uh, Uncle Paco, he, um, Dr. Chaos Laugh is his nickname here in 66 Ancient. He, he doesn't know, but I think he'll be all right with it. So we're just going to log in, um, to this fictional account and sort of set it up and show what it's like to, to access the member features. Um, but keep in mind, lots of other cool stuff is going to be added pretty soon. So we're going to have to update this video or make another one or something because there's going to be like gamification and zoom capabilities and well, all sorts of stuff. Anyway. Okay. So on with the show. And so as you've seen, we're just getting Paco, Uncle Paco's profile fixed up here with a picture, profile picture, banner picture. Going to adjust that a little bit. And we're just going to kind of flip around through the features. They're all pretty intuitive. You know, it's very similar to other social networking sites in some regards. You're going to catch a glimpse of th some things that aren't quite set in place yet, like your courses. We'll get back to that later. Going to go on over to like documents. It's pretty cool because this is a nerd site. We want people to upload and exchange data and photos and videos and charts and maps and timelines and information and PDF. So we can create folders in all sorts of settings from our profiles and in the discussion groups and in the forums. And we can make them public or just accessible to our, our friends. See here, and, and in the name of Dr. Chaos Laugh, we're making us a, an ancient food folder because he's a, a, a fantastic chef and baker and restaurant manager. Oh my goodness gracious, he is so talented with the pizzas and everything. But he also has a real interest in the supernatural and the ancient history. And so I think he would really like to, you know, kind of hone in on the foods of the ancients. But here, he's, he's also signing up to other groups because there's lots of groups. Groups that focus on characters, groups that focus on language, groups that focus on context. And in each of them, they all have their subdivisions of, of areas for data that, that everyone, whether you start the group or you just become a member of the group, you can contribute and add to. And so, you know, eventually people will probably screw this up and we'll have to put on restrictions and stuff like that. But for now, group moderators will be trusted to kind of run their groups. And, you know, everything, as was would be done in other social network feeds, goes to, like, you know, feeds or social network sites. Sorry, trying to keep up with, oh, this video's moving fast. Anyway. So, yeah. And, and so everything ends up in the feeds, just like in other social networking sites. But let's go ahead. Let's try and make a group. Um, and so we're going to have, we're going to do a food in the ancient 66 group. And, and, and the idea would be that the, there'd be discussions and recipes and, and all sorts of, um, all sorts of input from different members, not just on like the foods that, that would be specific mentioned in in the text but also ones that historically we know would be popular for di different peoples and nations and regions so we set up the group you know there's different parameters and it's all pretty self-explanatory and um you know for now just anyone can start a, anyone that's on the site can can start a group any member can can become a moderator um and of course we want forums because discussion is the whole point this is all about community and we want to see what community does with with these options before we have to inevitably start ratcheting it down because well unfortunately we'll have to do that at some point okay these are not very hebrew pictures but they are representative of like the surrounding canaanite cultures that would definitely be slicing up these sorts of roasts so you know that's what we think paco would would be making his group 
uh, the, the photos. And it's a lot like setting up the profiles. And then you invite some people, and they might come, they might not. But, you know, you know, open for business. Now, um, he's got a video, and he's gonna, we're going to upload this little video of just kind of like glazing uh, some, some nice meat. It really has nothing at all to do with um, the Ancient 66, but we're just trying to make a demo video here. So, you know, kind of bear with us. <laughs> bear with us. <laughs> Chucky Bear. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, so we're uploading the video. We're making an album for it in this group. Um, that has a forum, and all of these things go to the public feeds because, you know, this is just supposed to be like a lot of fun and really interconnected, much like the narrative itself. So now that we got Paco's group kind of set up a little bit, and we've got a few things in there, I guess we're going to add some more things. And this, this video, Dad, Dad, come on, man. Your video's long and boring. I can only be so cute for so long. I mean, eventually people are going to be like, ah, I'm going to go watch something else. Bob's Burgers. All right, so moving along, though, seriously. All right, so we're going to make a quick discussion group in in the group before we move on. And you're just kind of seeing on the screen there the details for what that would look like. Um, and, and hopefully, though, as long and droning as this kind of is becoming, you're seeing how really quick and intuitive and easy all of this is. So no matter what kind of um, subject matter or, or, or community or group, you know, you want to, you want to start here, um, you or you and your friends or you and whomever can hopefully do that. And again, with all the other things that we're going to be integrating, hopefully in the near future, um, the capabilities will just become, you know, more prolific and more enjoyable and more engaging. Um, all right, so we're moving along here and we're just going to quickly check out a couple of the other features. And, uh, and, uh, so this is the feed. We also do want to take a, take a look at, at the, the main site, which is not the member site, confusing as that is. You see, the main resource site, we want to remain completely free and completely free of ads and commercials. But we'll get to that in a second. Here we see the forums and sub-discussion groups. You see how there's one for Ezra? It's a whole group just focused on that one Hebrew word because it's an amazing word and it, and it deserves some attention. But this is a sub-forum of, a, of a, like an umbrella forum and that's the linguistic studies. If you go to linguistic studies, eventually you'll see lots and lots of sub-forums and sub-groups um, each, you know, pertaining to individual words. So the communities here can proliferate um, in different directions. I hope that's not too confusing. But, you know, I'm a dog, so if I get it, you should be able to, too. Or I can pause and rewind. Or just sign up. Anyway, oh, there's the store. Love the store. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go ahead and mosey on over to... We're going to mosey on over to... The main site. Because we want to make sure that you understand the difference. Um, so that's like the member nerd community site. And here is 66 Agent. Look at that breathtaking, beautiful face. Back to the community site. Back to the main site. And here, everything ad-free, commercial-free, open access, no login. Right? Because we want, we, we want all this to be awesome and fun. Now, we're just going to go ahead and in straight, dive straight into documents. We'll go to Jonah because there's some meat on these bones. You see, if you go to the Jonah um, section, you see timelines and character galleries. You see maps and charts. We're going to go ahead and look at the character bio of Jonah found in the character gallery for the book of Jonah. So now we're in a bio, not in the character book. It's similar, but it's also different. You see, you got basic data on the character himself, not the book that's named after him. You got the timeline of his life, not the timeline of the book, which honestly, they're basically the same. Now, we always like to link to resources that are more credible than ours. So anytime you see something in yellow, you should, you should check it out because it's probably something that really expands upon what we're talking about on the site. Because we're just laymen. We're just doing this for fun and out of the passion and love of our hearts. So, you know, there's always a site that's probably doing it better than us, and we like to link to those. Here is some of our timeline uh, in Jonah's life. And then below that, you see related characters and maps. And in all the chapter studies, the book studies, and the character studies, you find, you find sections like this, where it's like notable moments, misunderstandings, and mistranslations, vital contextual elements, 
and, and so on and so forth. And you'll see those as we cycle through for the next couple of minutes in the other sections as well. But the point here is that no matter what, what you, you clue in on, that, that there's, whether it's community, site-generated, or peer-reviewed, academic, um, what, we, what we're really trying to build here is just like a, um, an all-encompassing matrix of awesome information. Let's check out the chapter studies. You see, this is set up more like a blog. Oh, let's listen to this handsome fella talk for a minute. And the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, the great city, and call out against it, for their evil has risen before me. And Jonah got up to flee to Tarshish from before the Lord to Jaffa and found a ship. But I don't want, I don't want it to just be a, all about me. So, so here, here's a clip of, of Joel Thomas as he examines the, the book of Jonah in Jonah chapter 1 as well. And anytime we can include these, we want to. I want to begin by uh, welcoming all of our Atlanta area camp. Jonah is actually satire. In fact, the closest thing we have in our culture uh, to the story of Jonah, and it's hard to, 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 to get this because a lot's lost in translation, but the closest thing we have is SNL. How many of you guys watch SNL? By the way, if, if, you, if, you, if you don't watch SNL, if you do watch SNL and you miss church, Andy's on after SNL. So you can just stick around if you miss church and watch Andy on SNL. Anyway, um, it, this story is satire. It, it... And so, well, as you can see, we, we really try and cover all the bases here and including all sorts of, uh, of expanded information. And, and, and uh, we, we just, you know, we don't want any, we don't want there to be any way to, to explore a narrative, to nerd out that, that we haven't thought of. And so whether you're looking at the chapter studies or maps or charts or book studies or biographies, whether you're doing um, contextual analysis or linguistic analysis, um, whether you're doing it just off this website or whether you're doing it in the community website with, everyone, with, with other people, you know, we just um, we think that 1,700 years have gone by and, and, and unfortunately this amazing collection of documents has, has just been <laughs> commandeered by, um, well, not literary appreciation. And we'll leave the commentary on what it has been commentated by for another Chucky video. But suffice it to say for this one, uh, we, we, we hope that you, you just, you know, you kind of like what we're doing here. Um, we're not for or against believing or disbelieving. We're, we're all for just getting into it, you know. And so, like, here's like a map section. Because when you study Tolkien, because come on, you can't just read Tolkien. You know, you got to kind of study it a little bit. And so it's fun to see the maps. And we want to make ours interactive. And, you know, it's slow going. Again, it's, it's just me. And I, I don't have any thumbs. And my dad and, and you know, our lady. Um, but so slowly but surely, we try and add some more content every single day. And, um, you know, again, always linking it. Here, here's some British Museum article and um, a Nineveh which, again, is part of the interactive map on Jonah's journey. Um, and then, you know, just a, a quick little nod to charts and tables. Right now, i got to be honest, we don't really have any impressive ones. But these two, we, we really want to just tweak and make fun, make interactive, and, you know, just bring, bring this incredible, incredible um, web of stories to life. And we already looked at the Jonah um, bio, but, you know, here, here's another one, Jephthah the Judge. And just, again, some basic information. Anytime you see yellow, you know, it's clickable. And eventually, we want, like, everything to be yellow. We want everything to be connected. If there's a name, we want it to have a bio. If there's a place, we want it to have, you know, a card. And what I mean by a card is, like, here, check out this map. Judges of Israel. You know, you click on different people, um, and different judges, like where they were, as well as their hometowns. Now, here's an example of a character where there's not anything yet in their bio. Literally, it's just a picture in his name. Now, you go back to the map, and, and you can find his hometown. And, and there might be a little bit on his hometown. Um, oh, not, not yet. Wrong one. C come on, Dad. Get with it. There we go. So, like, here's some on Ophrah and Hazar. And, again, we connect to other sites because other sites are doing it better than us. One day, we would love to be able to have something like this on our site. 
but you know, it's gonna take a lot of time to get this sophisticated, where I actually have like academic entries on the various places where they were, where they're thought to be, where they might have been. Um, anyway, you know, this video has really gone on for so long. If you're still watching, thank you so much for your attention. Um, we really hope that you'll stick around and grow with us. We hope that you'll tell your friends and that you'll join and, and help us grow. Um, and yeah, definitely above always, just remember, this is a safe space for nerds. This is a place to geek out about a literary experience. This is a place to love storytelling. There's a lot of other places to talk about belief and disbelief. So please respect that, but that's not for here. Okie dokie. Thank you so much for your time. This is Chucky Bear out.